Welcome to my World of Tanks video. World of Tanks secrets number five. Five. I'm running out of fingers. But in all seriousness, this is a video about one of the mercenary tanks, the Thresher. And it was a game I played earlier today. And I wanted to show it to you because it was an example of what I call being a marauder. I just went ape because things happen, you catch the right flow of the match, different variables occur. You get engagements, some favorable, some not so favorable. So there's different variables that happen in every match. But in this game, we had a marauder, which is really killer. So let's look at this here. Dun, 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 there we go. I'm going to go here and look at the results. First, this was an eight kill game. <clears throat> Not my top game, but really good. No one ever says, well, you know, I only got eight. You go, I got eight, jackpot. So... I'm going to use the Y button here to watch the replay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit that part out as it loads the game in because it's really boring. So I'll be back in just a few seconds. Okay. This should be going well. Most of you probably already know this Matt Pilsen. This is a Skoda factory demolished uh, during the war at some point. I don't know historically when that would be. But that's me in my thresher. Now in the replay, I can't control the tank, obviously, but I can control where, it, where it's looking. So we're going to go through this, and all I'm going to do is look through here. And that guy, there we go, let's get closer. Even better. So we can look through the barrel if necessary. That's one. You can see the name is right there. Alright, so now we gotta look around here again. Sorry, my bad. But sometimes it gets to be that's two. That gets to be a very chaotic match on this level, you gotta be kinda of careful in your engagements. There's three guys there through that, uh, through that doorway. Oh, I'm sorry, by the doorway. Uh, I got this guy, I'm pretty sure. And that's another thing that happens. Sometimes, sometimes when you get eight kills, sometimes you steal a kill, sometimes someone steals one from you. That happens, so I don't really worry about it myself. My philosophy is that if someone's stealing my kills, I'm not complaining about it because we're winning as a general rule. That guy is just around the corner. There you go. Gotcha. Super fantastic. We're behind at this point, as you can see. That will change. I mean, this guy is just begging for it right now. One shot. Goodbye, Charlie. All right, let's go and see what's going on. Oh yeah, there was a guy over here by the train. He is in trouble. Smashing. Six to four, we've already taken the lead. Now there's a guy at our base, as you can see at the top of the map. My blip base is a blue circle. Now there are also, you can change the colors to make it red and green. I like blue and orange, I'm good with that. Now, do we get this guy to remember? 
Oh, that's that uh, light tank. P1C, right? Looks like it. Yeah, he's... Panzer 1C. Yes, correct. A vicious little monster is what it is. If you don't have a Panzer 1C, I highly recommend you get one. They're really good. They're super fast with that vicious uh, butchering gun. I don't know what it's called specifically. But it's a terrific gun. Just trying to capture my base, man. You got a lot of nerve. Yeah, our guy was in a Panzer 1C as well, trying to kill him, and I don't think he was able to penetrate his, ar his armor. Epic victory! So there is the um, MVP pose. This is the end of the match screen. And we're going back. Now these are the two tanks that were available in the season. The one on the left, the blue one, was a T-41E1. That was from the Ultimate Pass. You could still get that if you don't have it already. I'm like, uh, it's really good. The um, the other tank was the Magok 5, which is Stage 100. You have to complete Stage 100 to get the Magok 5, which is a crew training tank with a 25% commander bonus. It is awesome. The uh, Let me see here in a second. Yeah, the T-41E1 is a Tier 8 World War II light tank with a 10-shot autoloader. It is the T-40, I mean, the T-41 is the tank in the standard tech tree. That's a Tier 8 Walker Bulldog. There are other versions of it, like there's the Aguila, which is a variation of it. And there's another one um, that I don't remember what it was. Whatever. There's several versions of the T-41. Uh, Aguila has, a, has uh, like 50 more hit points, a more powerful gun, but it's a one-shot gun. And it has about a six second or so reload. That's after perks and uh, advanced loader, etc. equipment. So on that screen, you saw the blue tank on the left. That was the T-41E1. 10 shot auto loader when you fire your 10 shots you got a 20 second or so reload so basically you get in combat with guys you got 10 shots to do your business whatever that might be and then you run away for 20 seconds or 21 seconds or whatever the time is tremendously effective light tank i mean just absolutely fantastic uh the magok 5 if you don't have it is tier uh well era to cold war crew trainer 25 percent crew bonus experience 50 percent silver bonus super awesome it is my money maker that's that's how i got you see that money you see that cash i have there 4.4 million the magok is how i got it i use other think tanks as well and in fact my friend um he said I could mention who he was now. I didn't have permission, so I didn't say. My friend Armored Wraith, he is uh, working also on the TVP-88 operation, which is get 75 kills in that Czechoslovakian Cold War tank. Free tank, go get one. He's close. He's got, he's got 60, that jerk. I only have like 42, and I'm lucky to have those, to be honest with you. But... Um, what was I going to tell you? I was talking about the Magok. But awesome crew trainer. You have to have that. But this is the, this is what the mercenary tanks, I'm not saying all of them can do it. This is the Thresher. It's one of those things where sometimes your skills and your enjoyment just match to the tank okay and the thresher is it for me and now this guy like i said he is a 130 percent commander with a 10 percent bonus with the fast learner perk he's also a 10 percent bonus with the enhanced rations the gold 
cola bottle. So he's 150%. So whatever experience I earn in this match, Bamo, 150%. So it's a 50% bonus. Plus premium is another 50% bonus. You see it stacks like a maniac. So this guy, I'm working on the long hauls. Let me see what my long hauls total is. We go to seasons. Oops, one too far. Go to seasons. That's the commander. Um, go down to more challenges. So these are the more challenges. Day 40 reward. I mentioned this in my other video. I'll mention it again. This one is for me what day 38 and the 40th day which is two days from now we're going to pick up a free tier 9 Kampfpanzer 50T medium tank very good it's a very good tank actually on the stats it just it looks outstanding this is yes this is my TVP 88 destroy 75 or more vehicles I've got 42 my friend He's got 60. But he's a medium tank guy. He's really good. Long haul. This is the requirement to get a long haul. Place in the top seven experience earners on your team. 75 battles. Win or lose. So even if you have a bad game and lose, if you're a top seven on the losing team, hey, that's a long haul. It qualifies. You got to get 75. Right now, I have 45. I got 30 more to go. And then you see the rewards down there. Now it shows you. And it cycles back to the to the top one, which is oh sorry, da, 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 da. oh there it is, long haul. I'm blind. There we go. Okay, so no, that's the wrong one, Daddy. There we go. Yes. So 30 more I get. A random card could be black, could be blue, could be red. You don't know. It's just completely random. Sometimes they'll tell you it'll be blue. Sometimes they'll tell you it'll be black. I don't think long haul card has ever been a guaranteed red. But I've seen black and I've seen blue. At least I think I've seen black. I know I've seen rewards. So, you know, it helps. Here's the dealio. New weeks of this game start on Tuesday. So every Tuesday when you come on, look in your more challenges. You'll see what comes up. More challenges is how we found what is known as the daily battle. Let's go to the daily battle. This was the first one. Daily battle. Yes, the first day. You know, and the first, well, every day is this way, regardless. Daily battle, earn 250 more experience in a battle, win or lose, any tier, doesn't matter. You get, you might get, uh, I've gotten each one of these at least once. Some more like five repair kits, five med kits, and five fire suppressors. Uh, 50,000 silver, I got that today. Two enhanced rations, those are the gold cola bottles. One day of premium, got that one time. That was excellent. Griffin voucher, it's just a griffin. I can show it to you. Pizza voucher, just a, another, it shows you the pizza, but it works for any, any, any uh, emblem. It doesn't matter. Driving review voucher, I have not seen that one. Tic-tac-toe, I do have that one. So I've gotten every reward there, but every five days we got different rewards. Now let me show you what these were, okay? Let me look here. Okay, there we go. Daily reward, daily battle. Day 10 reward. Now the day five reward was a blue card. I don't know. It, it's down below. Don't ask me why it's not in numerical order. I couldn't tell you. No, that's not. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Day 10 was that commander, the Bjorn, whatever, Larson. Day 15, a couple of, you know, well, 10 bonus multipliers. Day 20, black card, classified. That was excellent. 25, this was the skin with the helmet for Bjorn Larson. So I have the, the helmet and uniform on him. Day 35 was the, is a skin to put on a Tiger II. Don't have the Tiger II, but if I get it, I got the skin for it. And that cycle, you know, cycles back. So there's long haul, blah, blah, blah. Let's go down to day like 30. Day 30, that was the skin. Day 35, that was three days ago, red card. 
I got a free top secret card. All you had to do was do that. There's day five reward, like I told you, it was a blue card. So we did this. We're like, dude, it, deal sold. We'll take it. So we did that. And for us, my main guys, um, except for the, our friend who, who was uh, ill for like three days, he had a fever. Um, we're all going to get ours Tuesday. He'll get his like Wednesday or Thursday, depending. I don't know specifically the day, but something like, something like that. He had missed a day, um, whatever. The challenges, these are, during the season, there's going to be eight weeks, right? So this is week seven. And you just play these matches, etc., etc. And I have gotten all of these. Daily challenges or daily challenges. I have not gotten... I haven't tried to do spotting damage yet. I've been doing other things, getting ready for this video is one of them. So, it's cakewalk for me. I'm going to do another video on... I'm going to do an advanced spotting video. I'll have it by then, or I'll get it then, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. So we have covered the thresher. That was the main thing. Just wanted to give you guys an example of why you do contracts. Just with an example of a game that was a really awesome game so I don't know I guess that's all hopefully you enjoyed it gave you some more information about seasons and whatever stick around see my other videos I got more coming and I got some good stuff on the way I've got I normally don't write stuff down there's so many ideas and I was talking to my friend Armored Wraith I had to start writing these down for things so I won't forget on videos that we have to make there's so many things that we need so I hope you enjoyed it I'm trying to help you guys do better have more fun get more gold obviously do your long hauls check out my other video on long hauls check my video on free gold if you haven't seen it and if you've seen my videos any of those tell your friends that would help a lot I guess that's it and I'll see you guys in the next one thanks a lot